Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in this video, I will show you the one powerful AI tool which help you to write all your code. All you have to do is to give the command and it will generate the code. It will tell you the following step that you have to take in order to build that component, to build that applications. So this one is going to be the powerful AI. It's launched recently and at the end, I'm going to tell you that why it's going to be one of the biggest innovation in the coding world and what kind of impact is going to create for the normal developer okay so let me show you the ai which i have right on my desktops and i'm going to show you that how you're going to utilize it and how you're going to test this entire code so this is the ai chat G. right now i'm going to give command to this ai to generate navigation bar which i'm going to use into the website so this is how you can do it let's come here in the search bar and all you have to do is to type i want to have any nav bar using html css and jav javascript with responsive responsive design and all you have to do is to hit on this and this ai will going to analyze your text that what you want and it's going to write down all the steps which you have to take in the code so right now it's analyzing and here you can see it started create a native navigation bar using html css and javascript you will need to follow these steps so here it's giving me all the steps which i have to follow in order to create the navigation bar right now you can see it's generating me the entire html markup for the navigation bar so here is the html markup and here you can see this is the second thing right now it's generating me the css file for this so just wait and you can see it's giving me all the dis and it's giving me all the instruction which i have to follow in order to use this so this is the simple so this is the css it's writing for me so i can utilize the same one so here is the css and let's come here and this is the javascript so it's uh, sorry it's for the responsive styling and it's giving me all this command just wait it's happening really very fast and here comes the media query which i have to include into the cs file so it's setting up all the property all you have to do is to give the command no matter what kind of component you want to build whether you want to a slider responsive navigation or an entire home page or portfolio website just give the command it's going to do it for you so here it's laying down all the steps and here's come the javascript part because i have mentioned that i want a javascript included into my navigation bar so here it's including that as well and it's including the links and here it's giving me the description that what i have to do and here is this i hope this helped so finally they are done with this now we're going to test this code that how it is so simply click here and i have opened my html i'm going to simply paste the entire code so i'm going to generate this i will simply paste that so this is the entire markup file it is generated for me and i'll come here back to the ai and from here i'm going to grab this css file to use it all i have to do is to get back into my visual code studio here i'm going to paste that and i'll come here here i'm going to import the css file for that so i'll say link and in that i have to mention that i want a css file it's automatically get installed because i have used emit into this okay i have a battery low let me do this it's looking fine and i do have to include the javascript as well so i'll come here and I'll, oh sorry where it is i'll come here and from here i'm going to copy this media query and i have to include into the CSS file as well so media query is going to be here let's come back to the api and from here i have to grab this javascript come back to the code and i'm going to simply paste here so this is the entire code generated by this tool and i'm going to open my live server and boom just wait my live server will open soon and here you can see and it's generated me this navigation bar you can see how powerful it is you can give beef command that you what kind of coloring you want what kind of graph you want what kind of styling you want just to wait they are going so you can give any command to this if you want to have a different color you can give the color command and it's going to generate so now i'm going to create a slider in react and i'm going to use tailwind css so how you can do that you can simply do that in this way you will say create react js sl let's say p r o d u c product s l i d s slider us using tailwind css and all i have to do is to click on this 
so this AI is analyzing the code and it's going to give me the navigation bar the navigation component using the Telvin CSS so just wait it would be always great the brief you will explain that what kind of coloring you want you can mention that that you need a gradient color it's going to include that as well so here you can see it's happening it's telling me that I have to run first I have to install the react Telvin you can see it's giving me all the commands that what are the steps I have to follow then it's telling me that you have to create a create react app means I have to initialize a react app in the project it's giving me all that and this is how I can do it this is the process which I have to follow and it's creating me a folder by the name my slider because that's what I want to build and here it's saying that this is the HTML markup so just wait it's happening and here is the HTML markup here you can come here just wait so here I'm importing the Telvin CSS and here it's giving me the both combination it's giving me the simple HTML markup and it's also giving me the react component you can see right now it's writing the react components along with the entire CSS stylings relative full width h4 gray ray <laughs> everything's looking perfect you can see <coughs> it's writing every single page so this is how I have to do the app configuration in my app page to have this slider component so it's giving me that portion as well you can see it's so powerful and it will help you a lot in your development you have seen that how powerful this AI is it can do almost 80% of your work it can write any type of code which you want whether you want to build a backend server whether you want to build front end using any particular framework it will help you in building that all you have to do is to take this code assemble and deploy so definitely it's going to create huge impact on the developers because if you really want to be in the industry and secure your job you have to be very good if you are average those average developer for them they need to think about their job because this AI can do most of the work if you perform your work in just like this way in a in the middle not that good in your skill then definitely it's going to create a huge problem for you and you will not able to sustain the job because right now most of the company what they will do they're going to hire one or two developer who can manage both the front end and the back end and they're going to be appointed only for looking the code and organizing the code because all the code is going to be written by this AIs they're going to take this code assemble and deploy if you want to do any modification in the styling that's also is possible you need to do certain things here and there but if you give proper command to this AI is going to produce this exact result if you want a gradients that's all you can do so I link this documentation you can follow and it's going to be a very huge change in the coding industry so before I end this I just want to highlight one thing that you have to be really really very good whatever technology you are following if you are working on JavaScript you have to be really good on that if you are working on a front end, you have to be really good on that because if you are in between in the average then definitely you're going to lose your job and it becomes very hard for you to get a job or get any kind of work because this AI can do almost 80% of the work so must tell you that you have to be very good in that and make sure if you are already have a job and want to make the entire development process really fast or if you are working on any project and you want to make the entire development very fast then check this particular AI it's really huge it's really amazing and it can do a lot of things so again I just want to remind you for those new developer if you are good in your skills then there is no need to worry at certain stage but if you are a newbie and if you just work like copy and paste from Stack Overflow or get code from the YouTube and just plug in the application and you use it so that's <clears throat> so for those type of so for those type of developer is going to create a little bit problem okay <laughs> not little bit problem huge problem so make sure to work on your skills try to understand every single thing whatever you are in and this is how you can utilize this powerful AI and you will see that in my coming project and in my coming project I'm going to utilize this AI to write and build our entire project using this AI so you will have a detailed tutorial on this very soon that how you can utilize this one 
and this will make your development process really fast you can see and it took me only one minute to generate this entire boilerplate for the component okay so make sure to come and check this out chat gpt i'll link in the description so you can come read the documentation that what kind of application you can build and that will give you a very good idea so if you are learning the development so you can come here if you're learning react if you're learning Telvin css you can come here give the command and see what kind of code is generating and try to analyze that that is a very good learning because you are getting ready project and you can easily be able to analyze check in the browser that whatever boilerplate you have got how it's performing what kind of code is generating okay so that's the only thing i want to talk about if you have still any confusion in doubt do leave in the comment section and if you really have any question do let me know in the comment section so i will try to help in that with that, I'm ending this video. Hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.